Once upon a time, nestled amidst rolling hills and shimmering rivers, lay the bustling town of Willow Creek. Here, life was a familiar rhythm of school bells, homework, and dreams of the future. Our story, however, doesn't begin in a faraway land of enchantment, but in the very heart of this ordinary town. It revolves around a group of high school students, not unlike yourselves, on the cusp of a grand adventure. Now, this wasn't your typical adventure filled with fire-breathing dragons or talking animals. No, this was a journey into the real world, a quest for knowledge and experience far beyond the confines of textbooks and classrooms. They were about to embark on what we call work experience, a rite of passage, a stepping stone, a glimpse into the possibilities that lay beyond graduation. You see, work experience, my dear listeners, is no mere line on a resume or a box to be ticked. It is a transformative journey, a chance to swap the familiar comfort of school for the bustling energy of the workplace. It's about learning, growing, discovering hidden talents, and realizing that the world outside is vastly different from the one we often imagine within these walls. Now, some of you might be thinking, work experience, but why? Isn't school enough? We spend years in classrooms absorbing knowledge. But imagine learning about plants and then actually planting a seed, watching it grow, reaching for the sun. That's the essence of work experience, applying theoretical concepts in the real world, like using the Pythagorean theorem to build a bookshelf or crafting a marketing campaign. It's about involvement, making mistakes and learning, bridging the gap between theory and practice. Real learning extends beyond the classroom. Plato said, knowledge which is acquired under compulsion obtains no hold on the mind. True understanding blossoms when we actively engage with the world. This sentiment is echoed by modern educational leaders. Sir Ken Robinson said, education should be about igniting fires, not filling buckets. Work experience is where those fires are truly ignited. It's where passion meets purpose, where theory sparks into action. Imagine, if you will, that school is like a greenhouse. It provides a safe, nurturing environment for young minds to sprout and grow. But just like a plant eventually needs sunlight and fresh air to thrive, students need to experience the world beyond the classroom walls. Work experience is that open door, that bridge connecting the controlled environment of school to the dynamic, ever-changing landscape of the professional world. It's like stepping out of a textbook and into a living, breathing case study. Let's say you're interested in journalism. Classroom simulations can teach you the basics of writing and reporting, but nothing compares to the thrill of chasing a story, interviewing sources, and seeing your byline in print or online. Or perhaps you're fascinated by the world of finance. Work experience in a bank or accounting firm can provide invaluable insights into how financial markets operate far beyond what any textbook can convey. The beauty of work experience is that it removes the abstract and makes it tangible. It allows you to connect the dots between what you've learned in the classroom and how those skills are applied in real-world scenarios. Now, some of you might be thinking, but work experience is just about getting a job, right? And while it's true that work experience can often lead to future employment opportunities, it's much more than just a stepping stone to a paycheck. It's about self-discovery, about exploring your interests and understanding what makes you tick. Think of it as an experiment, a chance to try on different hats, so to speak, and see what fits best. You might be surprised to find that your passion lies in an area you never even considered before. Or perhaps you'll realize that a particular field isn't the right fit for you, and that's okay too. It's all part of the learning process. Remember, work experience isn't just about adding bullet points to your resume. It's about adding chapters to your life story. It's about accumulating experiences, both big and small, that shape who you are and who you aspire to become.
Now, venturing into the world of work, even for a short period, also comes with a unique set of responsibilities. It's no longer just about completing assignments and studying for exams. You'll be expected to show up on time, follow instructions and contribute to a team. And let me tell you, there's nothing quite like the feeling of accomplishment that comes from knowing you've made a tangible contribution, however small, to a real-world project. It's about understanding the value of a hard day's work, of taking pride in a job well done. You'll also learn valuable life skills that extend far beyond the workplace. Time management, problem solving, communication and teamwork. These are just a few of the essential skills that work experience helps cultivate. Skills that will serve you well, no matter what path you choose in life. Now, my dear listeners, you might be wondering, does work experience really make that much of a difference in the grand scheme of things? Well, let me tell you, some of the most brilliant minds and successful individuals in the world will be the first to tell you that their early work experiences were pivotal in shaping their journeys. We often hear stories of self-made billionaires who dropped out of college to pursue their entrepreneurial dreams. But what we don't always hear about are the countless hours they spent tinkering in their garages, experimenting with ideas, and learning from their failures long before they struck gold. Take, for instance, the celebrated author Malcolm Gladwell. In his fascinating book Outliers, published in 2008, Gladwell delves into the factors that contribute to extraordinary success. And guess what he discovered? Early exposure to work-like environments, whether through part-time jobs, apprenticeships, or family businesses, played a significant role in developing the skills, work ethic, and resilience that set these individuals apart. So while we may marvel at the achievements of these exceptional individuals, it's essential to remember that their paths were paved with dedication, perseverance, and yes, a healthy dose of real-world experience. Now, let me share a little story with you, a tale as heartwarming as a freshly baked loaf of bread. It's about a young lad named Ethan, who, back in his high school days, signed up for a work experience programme at a local bakery. Now, Ethan wasn't particularly fond of baking. He saw it as his grandmother's domain, filled with flowery aprons and the constant aroma of vanilla. He had his sights set on becoming a lawyer, arguing cases in a grand courtroom, not measuring cups of sugar and sifting almond flour. But, as fate would have it, his school counsellor had other plans and gently nudged him towards the bakery. Ethan, with a mixture of reluctance and curiosity, donned the baker's apron and stepped into a world of warmth, sweetness and the rhythmic hum of the oven. He started with the basics, washing dishes, sweeping floors, and observing the head baker, a burly man named Tony with the gentle hands of an artist. As days turned into weeks, Ethan found himself captivated by the magic of transforming simple ingredients into edible works of art. He learned the science behind yeast, the precision required in measuring, and the sheer joy of creating something from scratch. Let me introduce you to Maya. Maya was a coding prodigy, navigating the digital world with grace. She dreamt of creating an app to revolutionize education. Her brilliance was confined to her bedroom until she landed an internship. This wasn't a typical internship. Ideas were tossed around like confetti. Maya quickly found her footing, contributing to real-world projects. She pitched her app idea, met with enthusiasm and support. The founder provided resources and mentorship to develop her app. Now, I understand that not every work experience will lead to a life-changing epiphany or a groundbreaking invention. Sometimes it's about the subtle lessons, the quiet observations that shape our understanding of the world and our place in it. I remember a time when I was a young lad working a summer job at my uncle's hardware store. It wasn't glamorous. In fact, it mostly involved stacking shelves, organizing tools, and assisting customers with finding the right size screws. 
But amidst the mundane tasks, I learned valuable lessons. I observed how my uncle interacted with customers, his patience, his ability to explain complex concepts in simple terms, and his genuine desire to help. I witnessed the satisfaction people derived from completing their DIY projects, the pride they took in their work. These seemingly insignificant observations stayed with me. They taught me the importance of customer service, the value of clear communication, and the dignity of all types of work, no matter how humble. Beyond the bottom line. Now, work experience isn't just about acquiring skills and boosting your resume. It's also about developing empathy, understanding the needs of others, and recognizing the importance of giving back to the community. Many work experience programs offer placements in non-profit organizations, charities and community centers. These placements provide a unique opportunity to engage with diverse populations, understand social issues firsthand, and make a tangible difference in the lives of others. Imagine spending a week assisting at a local homeless shelter, preparing meals, sorting donations and interacting with residents. Or perhaps you could volunteer at an animal shelter, caring for abandoned animals, walking dogs and finding them loving homes. These experiences, though often challenging, can be incredibly rewarding. They foster a sense of social responsibility, broaden your perspective and allow you to connect with your community in meaningful ways. The human touch. Now, we've talked about the importance of real-world experience, of applying textbook knowledge to practical situations. But there's another set of skills, often overlooked but equally crucial, that work experience cultivates soft skills. You see, my dear listeners, the world of work isn't just about technical expertise or academic brilliance. It's about people, about navigating relationships, communicating effectively and working collaboratively towards a common goal. And that's where soft skills come into play. Think of it this way. Technical skills might get you the job interview, but it's your soft skills that will land you the job and help you excel in the long run. It's about being a team player, a problem solver, a communicator extraordinaire. It's about bringing a human touch to the workplace, something no algorithm or artificial intelligence can replicate. The art of communication. Ah, communication, the bedrock of human interaction, yet a skill often taken for granted. We communicate constantly through words, gestures, even silence. But effective communication, the kind that builds bridges, fosters understanding and avoids misunderstandings, well, that's an art form in itself. And where better to hone this art than in the crucible of the workplace? Think about it, you're thrust into an environment with colleagues from diverse backgrounds, with varying communication styles and expectations. You'll learn to tailor your message to your audience, whether it's writing a concise email to your boss, presenting an idea to a group, or simply engaging in friendly banter with colleagues during a coffee break. Work experience forces you to step out of your comfort zone, to articulate your thoughts clearly and confidently, and to listen actively, truly understanding the perspectives of others. You'll learn the subtle nuances of body language, the importance of tone of voice, and the power of active listening. Now, here's a phrase that's become somewhat cliché, but holds a profound truth. Teamwork makes the dream work. In today's interconnected world where collaboration is key, the ability to work effectively as part of a team is no longer optional, it's essential. And what better training ground for teamwork than the workplace? Whether you're working on a group project, brainstorming ideas, or simply supporting your colleagues in their tasks, work experience provides ample opportunities to develop and refine your teamwork skills. You'll learn the importance of clear communication, active listening, and respectful disagreement. You'll discover the power of leveraging each team member's strengths and supporting their weaknesses. And most importantly, you'll realize that achieving a shared goal is far more rewarding when you've worked together to get there. Now, the world of work is not for the faint of heart. It's a dynamic, ever-evolving landscape where change is the only constant. 
new technologies emerge, industries shift, and what worked yesterday might be obsolete tomorrow. That's why adaptability, my friends, is not just a desirable trait, it's a survival skill, and work experience with its inherent unpredictability is the perfect training ground for developing this essential quality. You'll encounter unexpected challenges, navigate last-minute changes in plans, and learn to think on your feet. You might even find yourself thrown into tasks outside your comfort zone, forcing you to learn new skills and adapt to unfamiliar situations. This ability to embrace change, to remain calm under pressure, and to pivot when necessary will serve you well, not just in your professional life, but in all aspects of your journey. Now let's talk about resilience, that remarkable human capacity to bounce back from setbacks, to persevere through challenges, and to emerge stronger on the other side. It's a quality forged in the fires of experience, and work experience provides ample opportunities to test and strengthen this inner fortitude. You see, the workplace, much like life itself, is not always a smooth ride. You'll encounter obstacles, make mistakes, and face moments of self-doubt. But it's in these moments of adversity that resilience shines through. It's about picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and approaching the task at hand with renewed determination. Work experience teaches you that failure is not the opposite of success. It's a stepping stone. It's about learning from your mistakes, adjusting your approach, and trying again. It's about developing that inner voice that whispers, you've got this, even when the going gets tough. Now, my dear listeners, Let's delve into the fascinating realm of emotional intelligence, a concept that's gained significant traction in recent years. In his groundbreaking book, Emotional Intelligence, published back in 1995, psychologist Daniel Goleman brought this concept to the forefront, arguing that it's not just our IQ, but our EQ, our emotional quotient, that plays a pivotal role in our success and well-being. Emotional intelligence encompasses a range of abilities, from recognizing and managing our own emotions to understanding and influencing the emotions of others. It's about empathy, self-awareness, social skills, and the ability to navigate complex social situations with grace and understanding. And you know what? Work experience serves as an excellent training ground for developing this crucial aspect of our intelligence. Think about it. You're constantly interacting with people from diverse backgrounds with varying personalities and communication styles. You'll learn to read social cues, understand unspoken dynamics, and respond appropriately in emotionally charged situations. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but I'm not exactly a social butterfly. The thought of navigating workplace interactions fills me with dread. And you know what? That's perfectly all right. We've all been there, especially in those early days of work experience when everything feels new and a tad intimidating. I remember a time when I was a young lad working a summer job at a bustling ice cream parlour. I was tasked with serving customers, scooping ice cream and handling the cash register. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, for someone who'd rather spend hours observing ants than engaging in small talk, it felt like a Herculean task. I fumbled with the scoops, mixed up orders, and once even managed to drop a scoop of strawberry ice cream right on a customer's shoe. Talk about a recipe for disaster. But you know what? With each awkward encounter, each fumbled interaction, I learned something. I learned the importance of clear communication, the power of a genuine smile, and the art of gracefully recovering from a blunder. Now, one of the most valuable aspects of work experience is its ability to broaden our perspectives, to challenge our preconceived notions about different professions and industries. We often approach the world of work with limited knowledge, our perceptions shaped by media portrayals, family expectations, and perhaps a dash of youthful idealism. But work experience, my friends, has a way of pulling back the curtain, revealing the complexities, challenges, and unexpected rewards of various career paths. 
You might be surprised to discover that a job you thought sounded glamorous is actually quite demanding, requiring long hours and meticulous attention to detail. Or perhaps you'll find yourself drawn to a field you previously dismissed as mundane, discovering the hidden intricacies and quiet satisfaction that come with mastering a particular craft. Work experience allows you to step into the shoes of others, to understand the realities of their day-to-day -day tasks, and to develop a deeper appreciation for the diversity of human endeavor. So as we conclude this act, let us remember that while technical skills are undoubtedly important, it's the soft skills, those often overlooked aspects of our human experience, that provide the solid foundation upon which we build successful and fulfilling careers. Work experience with its inherent social dynamics, its triumphs and its challenges, serves as the perfect training ground for developing these essential qualities. It's where we learn to navigate the complexities of human interaction, to communicate effectively, to collaborate with others, to adapt to change, and to bounce back from setbacks with resilience and grace. These soft skills, my friends, are not just nice-to-haves. They are the keys that unlock doors, build bridges, and pave the way for long-term success and fulfillment. And as we move on to Act 4, we'll explore how these very skills translate into tangible long-term benefits impacting not just our careers, but our lives as a whole. Now, we've journeyed through the immediate benefits of work experience, from applying classroom knowledge to honing those all-important soft skills. But, my dear listeners, the true magic of work experience, the part that unfolds like a slowly blooming flower, lies in its long-term impact. It's about playing the long game, sowing the seeds today for a future harvest of success, fulfillment, and yes, even a dash of wisdom. You see, the choices we make in our youth, the experiences we embrace, they don't just shape our present, they ripple through time, influencing the trajectory of our lives in ways we can't always foresee. Work experience, particularly in those formative high school years, acts as a catalyst setting in motion a chain of events that can lead to unexpected opportunities, fulfilling careers and a deep sense of purpose. It's like planting a tree, my friends. You carefully choose the sapling, nurture it with water and sunlight, and patiently wait as it takes root, its branches reaching towards the sky. Work experience is that nurturing process, the foundation upon which you build a future filled with possibilities. Now, we often associate resumes with job applications, a neatly formatted document listing our skills, qualifications and work history. But imagine, if you will, a different kind of resume, one that captures not just our professional achievements, but the richness of our lived experiences. Work experience, my dear listeners, adds valuable lines to this resume of life. It's about the skills we acquire, the connections we make, the lessons we learn, both big and small. It's about stepping outside our comfort zones, embracing challenges and discovering hidden talents we never knew we possessed. It's about developing a strong work ethic, understanding the value of perseverance and realising that success in any field is often the result of hard work, dedication and a willingness to learn from our mistakes. This resume of life, my friends, is not something you can fabricate or embellish. It's a testament to your journey, a reflection of the choices you've made and the experiences you've embraced. And work experience, my dear listeners, adds a certain richness, a depth of character that sets you apart from the crowd. Now, let's talk about investments. We often think of investments in terms of money, of putting aside a portion of our earnings today to secure a comfortable future. But what if I told you that work experience is an investment in itself, a down payment on your future self? Think about it. The time and effort you invest in gaining work experience today will yield significant returns in the years to come. 
You're not just earning a paycheck or adding a line to your resume. You're acquiring invaluable skills, building a network of contacts, and gaining a competitive edge in the job market. It's like compound interest, my friends. The earlier you start investing, the more time your investment has to grow. Work experience, particularly in those crucial high school years, gives you a head start, allowing you to hit the ground running when you enter the workforce or pursue higher education. And remember, the returns on this investment are not just financial. They come in the form of increased job satisfaction, greater career mobility, and a stronger sense of purpose. Now you might be thinking, that's all well and good, but do we have any evidence to support these claims? Well, my dear listeners, I'm glad you asked. Because as it turns out, there's a wealth of research out there confirming the long-term benefits of early work experience. A study published in the Harvard Business Review back in 2019 titled The Surprising Benefits of Hiring High School Interns found that companies that offered high school internship programs experienced numerous advantages. Not only did these programs provide a pipeline of future talent, but they also boosted employee morale and enhanced the company's reputation within the community. But here's the most compelling part. The study also found that individuals who participated in high school internship programs were more likely to graduate from college, secure higher paying jobs, and report greater job satisfaction later in their careers. It seems that those early experiences in the workplace instilled a sense of purpose, a work ethic, and a network of contacts that paid dividends for years to come. Now, I know in today's world, we often measure success in terms of salary figures and impressive job titles. But my dear listeners, true fulfillment, the kind that brings a smile to your face and a spring to your step goes far beyond material rewards. And work experience, my friends, has a funny way of revealing those intangible yet invaluable aspects of a fulfilling career. It's about finding a job that aligns with your values, that allows you to use your skills and talents to make a meaningful contribution. It's about waking up each morning with a sense of purpose, knowing that your work matters. It's about the camaraderie of working alongside a team, the satisfaction of overcoming challenges, and the joy of seeing your efforts come to fruition. It's about the feeling of pride that comes from knowing you're making a difference, however small in the world. These intangible rewards, my dear listeners, are not listed on job descriptions or salary negotiations. They are the hidden gems of work experience, the treasures you unearth along the journey. Now, one of the most delightful surprises that work experience can offer is the discovery of hidden passions, the unearthing of talents and interests we never knew we possessed. You see, we often approach career choices with preconceived notions, our paths influenced by family expectations, societal pressures, or perhaps a romanticized view of certain professions. But work experience has a way of shaking things up, of exposing us to new possibilities and revealing hidden talents that might have otherwise remained dormant. Take, for instance, the story of Sarah, a young woman who had always excelled in science and mathematics. Her family encouraged her to pursue a career in medicine, a path she dutifully embarked upon. But during a summer work experience placement at a local engineering firm, Sarah discovered a hidden passion for problem solving, for designing and building things that worked. The experience was transformative, she switched her major to engineering, excelled in her studies, and went on to have a successful career designing innovative medical devices, combining her love for science with her newfound passion for engineering. Now, let's talk about mentors, those wise and experienced individuals who guide us along our paths offering advice, encouragement, and a healthy dose of tough love when needed. Mentors play a pivotal role in shaping our careers, helping us navigate challenges, make informed decisions, and reach our full potential. And you know what? Work experience provides fertile ground for cultivating these valuable mentor-mentee relationships. 
Whether it's a supportive supervisor, a seasoned colleague, or even a client who recognizes your potential, work experience exposes you to a network of individuals who can offer guidance, support, and a fresh perspective. These mentors, my friends, become more than just colleagues or supervisors. They become trusted advisors, cheerleaders in your corner, and sometimes even lifelong friends. They share their knowledge, their experiences, and their wisdom, helping you navigate the often complex world of work and life. Now, in this rapidly changing world, where technology advances at breakneck speed and industries evolve faster than ever, the ability to adapt, to learn new skills, and to embrace a lifelong learning mindset is no longer optional. It's essential. And you know what? Work experience, my dear listeners, ignites that spark of curiosity, that thirst for knowledge that propels us forward on our learning journeys. It's about stepping outside our comfort zones, embracing new challenges, and realizing that the learning process never truly ends. It's about developing a growth mindset, the belief that our abilities are not fixed, but can be developed through dedication, hard work, and a willingness to embrace new experiences. It's about becoming comfortable with the unknown, with stepping into the unfamiliar, and knowing that we have the resilience and adaptability to navigate whatever challenges come our way. So, as we draw this act to a close, let us remember that the benefits of work experience extend far beyond the immediate gratification of a paycheck or the addition of a line to our resumes. They ripple outwards, shaping not just our careers, but our lives as a whole. From the high school halls to the world stage, work experience prepares us for the challenges and triumphs that lie ahead. It equips us with the skills, the connections, and the resilience to navigate the complexities of the 21st century to make meaningful contributions to our communities and to leave our mark on the world. It's about realising, my dear listeners, that we are not just passive recipients of knowledge, but active participants in shaping our own destinies. We have the power, the agency and the responsibility to create the future we envision. And work experience, my friends, is the key that unlocks that potential, setting us on a path of lifelong learning, growth and fulfilment. And so, my dear listeners, as the sun began to set on those long summer days in Willow Creek, a remarkable transformation took hold of our intrepid band of high school students. No longer were they simply students, confined to the familiar routines of textbooks and exams. They had tasted the real world, felt the pulse of the workplace, and emerged from the experience forever changed. Remember that map we spoke of earlier, the one with Willow Creek nestled amidst rolling hills and a path leading towards a shining city on a hill? Well, that city, once a distant glimmer on the horizon, now felt within reach, its streets paved with possibility and its doors open to those brave enough to step through. Their work experience journeys, as unique and varied as their individual personalities, had woven a rich tapestry of growth, self-discovery and newfound confidence. The shy had found their voices, the uncertain had discovered their strengths, and the once daunting world of work now felt like a landscape ripe for exploration. Take, for instance, young Clara, a bright spark with a twinkle in her eye and a head full of dreams. Clara, you see, had always been fascinated by buildings, by the way they soared towards the sky, their intricate designs a testament to human ingenuity. But growing up in a small town where career paths often followed predictable patterns, she never dared to dream of becoming an architect. Architecture is a man's world, she'd often overhear, the words settling like a weight on her aspirations. But then came her work experience placement at a local architectural firm, a seemingly insignificant event that would change the course of her life. Surrounded by blueprints, scale models, and the infectious enthusiasm of architects who saw the world as a canvas for their creations, Clara blossomed. She discovered a natural talent for spatial reasoning, a keen eye for detail, and an unbridled passion for transforming ideas into tangible structures. 
No longer content to simply admire buildings from afar, Clara found herself sketching designs in her spare time. Her notebooks filled with soaring arches, innovative layouts, and a newfound determination to break down those outdated stereotypes. And then there was Michael, a quiet, unassuming lad who preferred the company of books to the bustle of social gatherings. Michael, you see, possessed a sharp mind and a talent for problem solving, but his shyness often prevented him from sharing his ideas or contributing fully in group settings. His work experience placement at the local library, a place he considered his second home, seemed like a natural fit. Surrounded by the comforting silence of bookshelves and the gentle hum of turning pages, Michael felt a sense of belonging. But then came a challenge, an unexpected opportunity that would push Michael beyond his comfort zone. The library was hosting a summer reading programme for children and Michael was tasked with leading a group of boisterous youngsters in a storytelling session. His initial instinct was to retreat, to blend into the background and let the more extroverted staff take charge. But something, perhaps the encouraging words of his supervisor or the eager faces of the children, sparked a flicker of courage within him. And so it was, my dear listeners, that each student in Willow Creek, through their unique work experience journeys, discovered hidden talents, conquered fears, and emerged with a newfound understanding of their place in the world. There was Emily, the budding entrepreneur who, through her work experience at a local bakery, discovered a knack for marketing and a passion for building community through shared culinary experiences. And Daniel, the aspiring musician who, while working part-time at a music store, discovered a love for teaching his passion for music, igniting a spark in the next generation of aspiring musicians. The tapestry of their experiences, woven together with threads of hard work, perseverance and a dash of good humour, painted a vibrant picture of the transformative power of work experience. It wasn't just about acquiring skills or building resumes, it was about discovering the spark within the unique blend of talents and passions that made each individual shine. And in finding themselves, my dear listeners, these students also discovered their place in the world, their unique contributions to the grand tapestry of human endeavour. They realised that work, at its core, is not simply a means to an end, but an expression of our shared humanity, a way to connect, to contribute and to make a difference. No longer content to simply dream of a brighter future, they emerged from their work experience journeys with a sense of agency a belief that they possessed the power to shape their own destinies and to leave the world a better place than they found it. They carried with them the lessons learned, the skills honed and the connections forged, ready to embrace the challenges and opportunities that lay ahead. The world, once a vast and intimidating unknown, now felt like a landscape brimming with possibility, a canvas upon which they could paint their dreams and aspirations. And so, my dear listeners, as we draw this act to a close, let us remember the words of a man who understood the transformative power of passion and hard work, the late Steve Jobs, who once said, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Work experience, my friends, is not just a stepping stone to a job, it's a journey of self-discovery, a quest for purpose and fulfilment. It's about exploring your passions, honing your skills, and finding your place in the grand symphony of human endeavor. It's about embracing the unknown, challenging yourself to grow, and never losing sight of the spark within, the unique blend of talents and dreams that makes you, you. And as you embark on your own work experience adventures, Remember that the journey is just as important as the destination. Embrace the challenges, savour the victories, and never stop exploring the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. And so, my dear listeners, we return from the bustling town of Willow Creek, 
our hearts a little lighter, our spirits a little brighter, having witnessed the transformative power of work experience unfold before our very eyes. Those students, once hesitant and unsure, now stand tall, their eyes sparkling with newfound confidence, their steps a little lighter, their futures a little brighter. They carry with them the lessons learned, the skills honed and the connections forged, ready to embrace the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. But their stories, my friends, are not unique to Willow Creek. They are echoed in classrooms and communities across the globe, wherever young minds yearn to explore, to discover and to make their mark on the world. For work experience, you see, is a universal language, a shared journey of growth, self-discovery, and the realization that we are all capable of achieving far more than we ever thought possible. More than a stepping stone. Work experience, my dear listeners, is more than just a stepping stone to a job. It's a crucible for character development, a testing ground for our values, and a springboard for our dreams. It's where we learn to navigate the complexities of the real world, to embrace challenges with resilience, and to celebrate victories with humility. It's about discovering the intrinsic value of hard work, the importance of teamwork, and the satisfaction of contributing to something larger than ourselves. It's about realizing that success, true and lasting success, is not measured solely by material possessions or accolades, but by the positive impact we have on the world around us. Work experience, my friends, is an investment in our future selves, a down payment on a life filled with purpose, passion, and the quiet satisfaction of knowing that we have made a difference. It's about embracing the unknown, stepping outside our comfort zones and discovering the hidden talents and passions that lie dormant within us, waiting to be ignited. A world of possibilities. And in a world grappling with rapid technological advancements, shifting economic landscapes, and a growing need for skilled and adaptable workers, the importance of fostering work experience opportunities cannot be overstated. For it is through these experiences, these early forays into the world of work, that we cultivate the next generation of innovators, problem solvers and compassionate leaders. It is through work experience that we bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical application, equipping young people with the skills and experiences they need to thrive in an increasingly complex and interconnected world. By providing young people with meaningful work experiences, we empower them to become active participants in shaping their own destinies and to contribute to the betterment of their communities and the world at large. We ignite within them a spark of curiosity, a thirst for knowledge, and a passion for lifelong learning, qualities that will serve them well throughout their lives. So, my dear listeners, as we reach the end of our journey, I urge you to embrace the transformative potential of work experience. Seek out opportunities, whether it's a part-time job, a volunteer position, or a shadowing experience in a field that piques your interest. Approach each experience with an open mind, a willingness to learn, and a genuine desire to make a meaningful contribution. Don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone, to ask questions, to make mistakes, and to learn from those around you. For it is in these moments of vulnerability and growth that we discover our true potential and forge lasting connections that will shape our lives for years to come. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And the path to a fulfilling and impactful career often starts with that first, sometimes daunting step into the world of work. The sweetest fruit. And so, my dear listeners, as we bid farewell to the inspiring young minds of Willow Creek, let us carry with us the wisdom of the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, who once said, The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. The pursuit of knowledge, the acquisition of skills, and the challenges we face along the way may not always be easy or enjoyable. But the rewards, my friends, the fruits of our labor, are worth every ounce of effort. 
For in the end, it is not the grades we earn or the titles we hold that define us, but the lives we touch, the contributions we make, and the legacy of learning and growth we leave behind. And that, my dear listeners, is a legacy worth striving for.